I, I would say there's a there's a performance trident that, that I operate off. I, I have a clear philosophy on what high performance is mm-hmm. and crafting a culture around catering for high performance pe- people. And if if you want to describe it, it's a, it's a gritty culture that you create where there's high demand, but high support. Many of us are in low demand, low support cultures, mm-hmm. or low demand, high support cultures, which are very permissive cultures that don't really break new ground. So over time, the staff that I work with, the players uh, and, and myself have, have got a clearer picture of what that performance trident is mm-hmm. that we always come back to and ensure we're working in one of the three domains every single day with the players or all three at the same time and and i'll bring you to that mel it's it's team spirit mm-hmm. right at the core of everything and and team spirit you know whenever you've seen a team overachieve everyone will say the team spirit was amazing but not many people unpack that and when you unpack team spirit right at the core of it is trust Mm -hmm. and trust leads to safety Mm -hmm. trust that we're all in here for a very similar purpose and and when you get people with a shared agenda then trust starts to to emanate and and for me that's the starting point to get that group of women or that group of men on the same page to understand that this journey was bigger than them the what the why and the who was clear and it was consistent. There was themes, thematic elements through every man's reason for being there or woman's that aligned to, to, to these three core themes, which mm-hmm. the trust emanates from that. We know we're, we're, we're going to always try and put ourselves behind this, this purpose and that purpose will always be bigger than us. Mm-hmm. And, and for me, that was the, the core behind what I could see in the men's team that had never really been established, a genuine reason for being there. And, and, and that sort of clarity that drives the intent and intensity that gets you through those tough matches in Honduras, El Salvador, you know, in minus 13 degrees in Hamilton that Martin talked about. So that, that's a starting point. And when you unpack team spirit further, trust leads to safety. And in a high performance environments that we work in with high pressure, scrutiny, massive scrutiny, Mm -hmm. expectation, consequence, and the consequence is usually public shaming. It has to be, you know, a really safe environment. So anything that breeds trust is breathing safety. And that's that's the, the, the core element. And you look at trust and safety comes from, purpose and then the character of people people who you select to be in there and their ability to get the job done competence and having a clear line and we call it our 80 percent line a clear line that people will live above that line and often the purpose just drags them above it uh, into these superhuman performances when normal people tend to capitulate under the performance pressures you know, our men are able to stand strong because the purpose is there. We've selected the right people. We've created a safe environment mm-hmm. where we trust each other. And our energy is put on the competition outside. We, we nullify the threat internally. So that's, that's the starting point of the trident. And the next piece of the performance trident is tactical excellence. Mm-hmm. And you can apply this to business. This is your strategy. This is your key performance indicators. These are your objectives. These are your tactics. But ultimately for us, it's about getting the right person on the right blade of grass at the right time to make a difference on the field. And then ultimately 11 players doing the same, knowing their jobs to help that person in that moment. Now, if you're clear as I am, you know you can't get people on the right blade of grass at the right time helping each other if they haven't got trust and safety. Because we live in a very dynamic world that brings emotion to things. And when people are emotional, they tend to take care of themselves. Or 
that shadow side of our personality kicks in. And that even happens on playing fields in the middle of games for players. When you unpack those disaster type performances, typically they're not focused on the game. They're focused on things like I made a mistake and that guy, my teammates now going to take my place, which means I'm going to lose my endorsement, which means I'm going to not get selected for my club team or, or progress my career. So you can't, get tactical excellence without the team spirit, the trust and safety, because people don't really have that intense clarity where they can put full attention, be present in the moment when there's clutter around your culture. And many of us live in those cultures. And I think the best leaders, they, they, they sense when the clutter is setting in, they get on it. They, they get on it and bring people back to purpose and then the last piece of the trident, when you've got safe people, people who are clear on what they have to do to help the organization, the tactical excellence, then you get the team chemistry. When them two are present, the chemistry is there. And then I think as a leader, it's understanding the potential of people when they live in these environments. You know, what can they do that you've never thought of? And then getting them to, to push beyond their performance limits. Because when you're safe and you're clear, you tend to have personal bests and do things no one ever expected you to do as a performer. Mm -hmm. And that, that chemistry in my environment is when you get two players to coalesce, they combine their energy. And you get three players. And then all of a sudden, you get that Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan partnership that you know, everyone goes, wow. I mean, it was unbelievable. The chemistry they had where they're able to sort of mask each other's weaknesses and they're willing to do that and enhance each other's strengths without the ego of, well, he's getting the credit. That's, that's the chemistry piece. So for me, that's the performance trident I've brought to the men's and the women's team. That's been very consistent. The high performance culture, which is very gritty again, high support, high demand. And then right at the core, every single day, every day I'm working on trust and safety because at the end of the day, the players are watching me right? and they're picking up those subliminal messages about my behavior. A lot of it's subconscious.